The Detroit Lions just got some good news if you're a fan of keeping our coordinators here in Detroit. Just now, the Seattle Seahawks hired Mike McDonald, their defensive coordinator from the Baltimore Ravens, to become the new Seattle Seahawks head coach. That leaves one head coach vacancy left in the National Football League, and that is the Washington Commanders. Now, if you already know that Ben Johnson turned down the Washington Commanders' job to stay as the OC for the Detroit Lions, but Detroit Lions defensive coordinator Aaron Glenn has interviewed with the Washington Commanders, and they are they do like the coordinator as a potential head coach candidate. Obviously, he's one that they like. That's the rumors out there. So if you're an individual who likes keeping your coordinators on the Detroit Lions, both Aaron Glenn and Ben Johnson, you should be a little bit happier because one job is off the table. Seattle Seahawks, there's only one left. And that is the commander's job. And that would be for Aaron Glenn. So if you're an Aaron Glenn fan and you want him back on the team, defend the Glenn over there for my guy Speakeasy and Spenmo Rex, hey, then, then you should smile because there's only one job left and there's a lot of candidates available. Aaron Glenn being one, but you got Dan Quinn, DC from the Dallas Cowboys, Mike Vrabel, former head coach of the Tennessee Titans, and Bill Belichick, former head coach of the New England Patriots, all available. So, uh, I, and I don't think that Bill Belichick actually coaches this year, but Mike Vrabel's a really good coach. So there's candidates out there. So if you are a Glenn supporter, the odds of him becoming a head coach decreased, obviously, with Seattle losing it. And again, more of these available coordinators or potential head coach candidates are narrowed down to just one position. So the odds get better that Aaron Glenn comes back. But again, they still like Aaron Glenn over their Washington Commanders, but you know, you don't know what we don't know what Washington is gonna do, in all honesty. They're an odd franchise, first off. They had to deal with the Snyder issue. They sell it, and it's kind of a, a team in flux. We don't know the direction they're gonna go or what they're gonna do over there. So I, in in respects to Ben Johnson, kind of glad he turned that one down. You don't, we don't know what's going to happen with that franchise. You don't want to be a one and done or end up being like a general manager of the Carolina Panthers. The guy is not the brightest. So maybe even if it's a good thing for Aaron Glenn. So if you're a Glenn supporter and you want him to become a head coach, maybe you're like, you know what, the Washington Commanders may not be the destination for you. Or, I could be completely wrong, the new owners, the new era in Washington is fantastic. But, with them hiring a coach over there in Seattle, it does reduce it. Now again, let's talk about the Ben Johnson returning. This is so huge for the Detroit Lions. This is a major victory. Of all the things that could happen this offseason... Whether you you pick up a free agent, a high prized cornerback, or a high prized edge, someone to add to the team, or you go into the draft and you get a a prized pick, this surpasses that of Ben Johnson returning because the offense has been so efficient, has been so dynamic, precise, and clinic that it has really excelled this team into one of the best teams in all of football, top five football team in 2024 for sure. When you have an offense that can score in multiple different facets, whether it be the run or the pass, in any different ways, whether you're behind or ahead, you can control the clock. You got something to build off of. And Ben Johnson is the mastermind behind it. Now, look, if we'd have lost Ben Johnson, I still think the offense would have been really good. I don't know if it'd be this good. Because you got to understand that Jared Goff understands Ben Johnson. Ben Johnson understands Jared Goff, the wide receivers, and Goff are on the same page. Everybody's fully in the scheme. They know it. So when you go from something that you know to something you don't know, there's going to be a lot of you know, hiccups on the way. And we're not going to have that now in 2024 because Ben Johnson's coming back. It's going to be... Full-on great offense from week one. 
going forward. You know, if you want us to continue to get back to an NFC championship game, the continuity on offense has to be there. And it is. Continuity on offense is there. We have question marks a little bit. One of the guard positions or both guard positions. I think Graham Glasgow comes back. Okay, one guard position, eh. Offense, though, is great. Offensive line, still really good. Wide receiver's really good. Running back's really good. Tight end's really good. Coordinator, good. Quarterback, good. Offense, going to be great because the return of Ben Johnson, the return of the mastermind of great offense is going to make this team be good. We're good on special teams. We're good on offense. Now, instead of worrying about what's going to happen with Ben Johnson, that's in the past. We got to worry about, first off, what's going to happen with Aaron Glenn. If he stays, and it seems extremely likely now that he's going to stay, okay, we don't have to worry about that. Now it's players. How do we upgrade the corner position? How do we upgrade the edge position? We don't need to focus on scheme. We don't need to focus on anything of that nature. We already got the type of targets we want in the draft. We know what type of personnel we want as a Detroit Lion. We just need to get them. And it makes the offseason much easier so you can target your selected free agents for this defense or your players you would like to pick up in the draft to help this defense out at edge and at corner position. Because make no mistake about it. Now with Ben Johnson back, wanting to hear with the Aaron Glenn situation, hopefully in the next 24 hours. We can make a video saying the commander's hired somebody. It's over with. It's going to be how do we upgrade the cornerback position, this defense all around. This defense has got to take more strides to bring this team back to an NFC championship to a Super Bowl. We're good offensively. But we need help. Cam Sutton needs help. Cam Sutton needs a lot of help right now. Okay, he's not a number one. We need to get a number one. How do we acquire a number one cornerback? Well, if you look at the free agents out there, there's not a lot of big names. I do like Jalen Johnson, and that would be a target for me. But you may have to go to the NFL draft to get a true number one. You may have to trade up that's the case but this defense needs a true number one so that's probably priority number one of this whole team after the coordinator for DC is taken care of is how do we upgrade that position number two is edge Ada Hutchinson we love what he's doing but Charles Harris Romeo Aquara gone Julian Aquara gone we need to get somebody opposite of Aiden Hutchinson You can go into free agency, and that is where you can get talent. Josh Allen and Daniil Hunter, both available. 125 years old, and Josh Allen, 28, and Daniil Hunter, 16 and a half sacks. That may not be over, though, because, again, we're losing a lot. Charles Harris is going to be gone. All these guys, so you still need to get more talent. So the NFL draft got to find yourself a good edge rusher there. So you, you may, because we need to get those bodies filled. It's not just one. You need multiple. Guard position would be next. Jonah Jackson may not re-sign with the Detroit Lions. If that's the case, we got to get a starting left guard. Say he does return back to the Detroit Lions. Then you got Graham Glasgow. You could re-sign him, but then we have a lot of injuries on this offensive line, so maybe we got to consider getting a guard still high and who's eventually going to replace one of the guards. So that's a big position of need right there, continuing the offensive line. Kicker, big-time need for this football team. Right? We like Michael Badgley, Isa, but are they going to finally get their kicker? 
they finally going to get a, a, a young stud to be on this team for a while. Because we need to be able to kick those three points. Going forward on fourth down all the time doesn't seem to be the smartest thing, and I think it's a lack of trust in the kicking game from the coaching staff has a little to do with it. So we need to get a reliable kicker that they fully trust. Get one in the draft. Easy to get one, right? Or, 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 or sign a veteran, whatever. But they need to get that position solidified. So then you have great spe- – I mean, we have a really good special teams, and we got to have a great special teams. You know, we got a good punter, good kicker. The coverage unit's good. That's – that's down. The offense is good. That's down. That's all on defense. Finish that defense up. Make it a championship football team. And that's building the depth. It's not just starters. You need to have depth. We've seen it this year. What are we going to do with Tracy Walker? I. You can either, he could take a massive pay cut or we can release him. That's going to be on him to make that decision. And that would free up some money. The Lions got to consider extending St. Brown extending a Panay Sewell. Start the conversation there. I know they got another year left, but this is big deals for this franchise going forward. Aiden Hutchinson, you know, a couple a year after that. Yeah. Wayne McNeil's got to be able to pay everybody. And then of course the Jared Goff extension at some point is going to happen. And that will really affect everything. I I think they probably have a good number and set in place. I don't think that's going to be actually that difficult to get done. I think they get it done. Jared Goff here, another five years for this football team, and I think they should. Folks, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell. With that said, folks, adios.